Poopy, my butthole, it's a butthole kind of day. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> let's recreate some sounds. Let's put them together in a beat, shall we? So, uh, we didn't recreate some sounds last time, so I'm going to go through the back catalog for a bit. Um, we want to recreate that choir sound. That was uh, courtesy of the... Let's see who who said that. Uh, Intro to Gone by the Red Baron. Okay, that's just a choir sound, my man. Uh, we can get labs in there, Spitfire Labs. You can get a pretty sick free choir in here. Let's see here, choir, choir, choir. Um, vocals, boom, choir. Um, cool, let's turn on the keyboard and... That's pretty much it. Uh, we can also turn down the attack a little bit. Let me turn that up. Okay, so let me hear this again. Okay, so here's the sitch. My choir doesn't sound exactly like the choir they're using in that track. Because I don't have the exact same choir preset. Uh, no, not the voice. The key pokes on the top end. Uh, okay, but you said not the top blips. So I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. So, okay, okay. Um... Yeah, how do we do that? Um, okay, so what's the crack today? Um, now, how do we make that kind of plucky sound? Um, de delay. Um, turn this up. Put some OTT on there. Uh, maybe modulate the time. Okay, so let's hear that again. Hey, 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 okay, hey, okay. So actually, on upon further reflection, I think there's like a Redux on there and. Um, Let's see here. Let's maybe do a little saw pluck and turn the sustain all the way down. Is that what's going on? Let me just turn up the release here. That's kind of getting there. Let me hear this again. Okay, they say. And then there's definitely some auto pan going on. So maybe let's turn up the spread. Uh, let me just put an LFO on this. We'll map an LFO to the rate on the Redux. Slow that shit way the fuck down. Yeah, something like that. Maybe turn down the depth. Could even add some delay beforehand. <laughs> cool, I like the sound. Let's go ahead and make a, you know, get some, get an 808 there. I was kind of inspired by the trap shit there. Um, sick. That's hot. And let's go ahead and extend these out. We're gonna go ahead and hit legato. By the way, uh, in current events, Live 12 came out. How many of you here got Live 12? You guys fuck with Live 12? Um, 
Timothy, Isaac, Grisa, Arya, and you guys have live 12. Uh, Gabe, thank you so much for the donation. We will get to you. All right, anyways, this is the recreation. Cool, so let's just go ahead and add that in there. I'm gonna change the count into one bar. That's, that's hard, bro. All right. Nice. Um, hit legato or duplicate, excuse me. Hot. I fuck with that. Okay, let's move on to the next sound, everyone. Can you recreate the pluck sound? Uh... Let's see here. Uh, can you recreate the pluck sound in the end of the Banksy Effect 2017 made by Rolex? Did we already do this one? Banksy Effect 2017. Uh, the Banksy Effect 2017 Rolex. Damn, the both the title and cover art of this is incredible. Uh, 251. The okay, so what are we doing? Uh, pluck sound. Uh, damn, that pluck sound is awful. So, that pluck sound, um, fuck. I don't know. I think it's probably a sample. Um, uh, it sounded like the exact same pluck that's in Animals, Martin Garrix, that fucking banger. Yeah, so there's like five different sounds in there. Um, but uh, I guess the top sound. Cool. Um, Let's add that. And then, so we got that layer, uh, more or less. Uh, although we do need a little bit of a pitch bend there. So let's go back into Serum. We'll do envelope two, make this even fucking shorter and map that to the course pitch. I don't know. Is that better? And then if you just have like a super saw, um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do envelope three. Actually, we'll use that on the level of oscillator A. <laughs> Sounds like fucking crazy frog. Ding, ding. <laughs> I love that. So then after that, there's a sub, right? Nice. I love that. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Um... Cool. Crazy Frog type beat. Uh, yeah, it does sound like a distorted kalimba. Um, something like that here. Let me go back into live here.
some bullshit like that. Um, you could also try a slightly different saw type sound. So maybe we can go to analog. What are some cool saws here? Subby saw perhaps? Ooh. Hyper dimension. Turn the sustain down. I doubt I'm gonna get any closer than that, but that might give you some ideas for how to approach that sound. Um, cool. Um, awesome. So let's fucking keep going. Um, Banksy Effect 2017, what a year. The super distorted square, oh, sorry. I forgot almost to add this into our track. So, okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, cool. We'll just steal the beginning of Crazy Frog. No big deal. I'm probably not going to get sued for that. Uh, ding, ding. This is already sounding incredible. I absolutely love this. Um, I think it's going to be even better once we add this next sound. The Super Distorted Square Wave in Sorrow Tech by Must Die. Let's fucking go. Sorrow Tech. Uh, all right. I think I've heard this track. 54. What? So are we talking about the 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 lead or the bass? Um okay. I don't know whether they're talking about the lead or the bass, but I kind of like the bass better, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh let's go into serum and I think if we just do a basic shapes, maybe add a little bit of FM action. So we'll do FFT. And then we'll just add distortion to that. So let's just do uh, down sample. Yeah. And then I think there was like some sort of wobbliness happening there. So we can map LFO one to the level. Uh, make, make it that something like that um but you can kind of make it stereo as well so maybe we'll put it on the panning as well Ooh. uh let's turn the bpm off that's kind of what it sounded like the low end was doing let's add some hyper dimension yeah sub Ooh. i fuck with that yeah, let me go ahead and close this so we can see you guys. Um, nice. Um, sorry, the lead. My bad. Um, okay, so let's do the fucking lead. Um, Yeah, I have no idea, dude. I'll be straight up. I have no idea how the fuck to make that. Uh, I think there's like a coarse pitch thing. And then it's got to be even more ridiculous. And really distorted. Um, compressor, OTZ. Maybe uh, we could add like a comb filter to that, so, or a reverb filter. That's kind of getting there, right? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, how to make it, we gotta make it more ridiculous and annoying. So. How do we do that? Maybe we add, we can add a different type of distortion or you said square wave, right? So maybe you're right. Maybe let's just do square wave. Ooh. Kind of 
kind of there. Maybe another layer? No. Uh, maybe. Let's try uh, basic shapes here again. Um, something like that? Fuck. I don't know. Um, you could also try adding grain delay to this, and that might also get you some of the way there. So let's try something like this. That's kind of cool. Whatever. That's probably as close as I'm going to get, but um, yeah. All right, cool. Aren't you tired of recreating sounds? Georgie, I sure as hell fucking am. I am definitely tired of recreating sounds, so I'm trying to make it a little bit more fun for myself by trying to put some of these sounds together in a beat. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Um, those sounds were bad, so let's not even use this, but I kind of like this new sound here. I think we can make it cooler if we add a uh, disperser. Let's try that. Yeah, disperser's kind of sick. Um, cool. So I'm just going to steal the melody from this Must Die track. Let's hear it. And I kind of want to make some rhythm anyway. So this is actually working out great for me. Okay, cool. Whoop. I can't get the timing right. Let me just turn on the metronome. Something like that. Let's go ahead and quantize this. That's all right, it's a little bit bad, but let's just go ahead and see if we can make it a little bit cooler. I might just move this LFO a bit to the left. Maybe just maybe even a little bit more. Just make it a little bit shorter, you, know, you feel me? And let me just try. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and put this together. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it out to you guys. What is more interesting to you guys? Is it recreating sounds? Is it watching me make beats? Is it roasting your guys' tracks? Of course, I'm going to do, you know, everything, all of the above, you know, from time to time. But... I'm still trying to find the right ratio here, so I'd be real curious. Um, I don't know if, can I set a poll here? Okay, uh, no, I cannot. Maybe maybe I'll do a poll in the future, but um, yeah, I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, cool. Okay, so a bit of everything. Okay, um, well, that doesn't really help me because I was already doing that. I guess if you had to pick one, how about that? All right, cool. And then let's make it wobble a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so we're making rhythm. I think this is off to a great start. Let's get some rhythm drums. I love the Kanoto drums. Um, Kanoto clap, Kanoto kick, uh, Kanoto hat. Yep. And then kick, kick, kick. Uh, hi hat, hi hat, hi hat, snare. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, so this is already sounding amazing. Um, I want to make this sound cooler, so let's put another disperser on that, and then maybe some amp just a little bit. That's cool. Um, and then maybe the fat rack. Just a little something, some a little, little spice in the mix. That's cool. Okay, I like the idea of having this LFL be half the speed. make this sound cooler. So how do we make it cooler? Um, I don't know if we want, I don't know if we need this sound. Maybe if we just have another LFO that just sweeps this reverb filter up and down. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That sounds like a sounds like a cute little kitty cat. Okay, you guys don't want to hear rhythm. You guys want to <laughs> recreate your sounds, right? Ooh, that would be cool too. Add another LFO on the wavetable position. Sorry, getting distracted. Um, that's fun. Um, yeah, I do what I want, bro. Tyler, that's excellent advice. Well, this is cool. I'm enjoying that. Um, let's do some more sounds. Because um, I, I, I at least want to get through the back catalog here. Can you recreate the very first sound in the Long Legs trailer? Uh, the trailer shows up if you get... Oh, okay, this is going to be some weird shit. Uh, let's do it. Uh, is this it? Long Legs trailer. Here we go. Ooh, that's a cool sound. Um, yeah, so we can make that. Sure. Um, maybe like this uh, flapper. Let's try that. Let's let's flap together. Uh, yeah. Reverb. Yeah. Compressor. 
suppressor. Here this again. Ooh, that's definitely more distorted. Maybe a little less reverb. And maybe some FM from B. Yeah, a little bit slower. Something like that. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Something like that. Another cool thing I've discovered from looking at other people's patches is you can do FM from the sub, FM sub oscillator to this. Ooh. That's sick. So maybe we'll do our B part with that bass. So let's go ahead and put this here in the um, session view. Oh, come on. Let's copy paste this. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so let's try that. Let's do this. That's cool, that's cool. Let's see, we're playing E. Let's add some comb to that. So, so we'll do disc comb one LP. Ooh. Let's try adding another LFO, but on the cutoff, and we'll make it real slow. Hmm. That's not quite working. Uh, let's do another one here. Fuck. <laughs> 
That's cool. I like that. Let's move the filter up and down for these little notes here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Killing it, brothers and sisters. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, hell yeah. 2012 me would have chugged a, chugged a sixter, sixer, sixer of monster energy to this for sure, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, that's enough rhythm. Let's go back and uh, let's make some more sounds here. So that was very inspiring. I enjoyed that very much, but I didn't save it. Um, so that's okay. Let's keep making sounds. We got bouncy dulcimer glitchy sound 143 smell memory. All right, let's do it. Smell memory mum 143. <laughs> Yeah, you can make that dulcimer. Uh, I mean, if you just search dulcimer here, I mean, that's kind of pretty much there already. Uh, um, but honestly, if you get any sound from tension, I think that's kind of what the sound of tension is. So if you used to, let me hear this again. Um, So we need a little bit more delay on that. Yeah, kind of like that, but honestly, we could probably find a better tension preset. So let's go. I mean, that's already kind of better. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear this again. Yeah, like that kind of fake resonator sound. Like that. Yeah, and then if you just put an ARP on that and just go from notes to milliseconds, Which is sick, right? And especially, this would be really cool, if you could have each note be panned left and right. Um, so I wonder how we can do that. Um, let's try unison. Ooh, that's cool. Let's do a uh, chord trigger. That's tight. Um, where is the panning on this though? That is really what's freaking me out. So we have octave, semi, detune. I never use tension. Um, portamento we got, looks like this is pretty much monophonic. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, let's put a utility on this. Let's put expression control on this track. And we're gonna map this to the balance here. And so every time we play a note, Oh no, let's do it before. Actually, why isn't that working? Oh, sorry, we gotta put this on random. Yeah. So now, check it out, it's panning it every time, and let's make it bipolar here. That's cool. Let's speed that up. Maybe not panning it quite so much.
That's a dope sound. Let's go ahead and record that. That's sick. Holy fuck! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to figure out what, what is giving this thing juice, you know? That's a cool sound. I think we should definitely add some more to that. So let's go ahead and recreate the next one. Okay. Um, could you recreate the intro sound from Hole in the Earth by Away and Madoka? Let's fucking go, dude. By the way, that's actually another really great Deftone song. One of my favorite bands. Uh, yeah, so there it is. But we don't want that. We want whatever this shit is. Uh... Oh yeah, it's a cover of it. So like that sound, I mean, it's actually not too far from what we just made in this tension thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, we could, we could do that. So just same as before, really, just map the LFO to the level, play a chord. Um, whoopsie daisies. What's going on here? Sustain. Okay, let's make it faster. Um, a little bit longer, maybe. Sine wave. Yeah, it's, it's got quite a few layers there. Um, and maybe a little bit longer. Uh, how do I make it a little less distorted? Something like that. maybe Ooh, that's cool let me hear this again Can you um let's do That's nice. I like that sound. Uh, it's not terribly close to the original, but I mean, yeah, it's what I think is to be a pretty simple sine wave, fuck ton of distortion. You got that eighth note pluck rhythm. Actually, again, not too far off from what's going on here. So maybe we just copy the MIDI over. That's nice. Maybe down an octave on this one.
That's nice. Okay, sick. That's sounding really pretty. I like that. Oh, let me turn Sonar Works off. That's probably fucking enough for you guys. Awesome. Okay, uh, let me go to the most recent comments. Let's see how people th if people think about it. Can you modulate velocity to get that strum effect? You certainly can, I'm sure. Never been in stream before. How do I have to make a donation to make a request? You don't have to, but it's more likely I will get to it. Um, but yeah, yo, thank you all so much for the donations. I really fucking appreciate it. This is sick. Okay, um, and thanks for being supportive for, for just letting me do what I want. You know, I appreciate that. All right, next up, we got Rainbow Whatever. Can you try this amazing synth bass lead in The Daisy by Ross from Friends? Okay, sure. The Daisy, Ross from Friends, 116. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that's just, uh, um, let's just do drifts here. Okay, and let's do stereo. Let's do a uh, pitch envelope. Let's do envelope two. That's nice. Um, not too far off. drift and we can make it even nicer if we add some hybrid reverb in there and maybe some color just to kind of give it that extra bit of movement. And we could also map uh, LFO to the pitch a little bit. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah. It's fucking hot. All right, so let's see how we can incorporate that into the into the beat. Maybe you just copy the MIDI again. Whoop! Put it up an octave. We gotta get a nice soft kick. Um, soft? That's not soft. I like Oak. He's got some good kicks. Maybe just that. Just keep it real simple. No, I want even something softer. So, Lil Kick? Yeah. 
Eli kick small. Here we go. Open hat. <laughs> Maybe we'll do the drum synth. Let's do the drum synth kick, uh, DS kick. Here, let's add that there. Oh, this isn't even, these aren't even in the sidechain group. I was fucking retard. Maybe we'll do the drum synth for the hi-hat as well. much of a envelope there. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright, cool. Let's add shimmer. Um, make it a nice and big. Okay. Um, come on, man. All right, that's beautiful. Maybe a little less movement. Here we go.
like that. Something's going on with my um, duck buddy here. Doesn't seem to be getting every kick, so maybe let's slow down the length here. Uh oh. Uh, kick, here we go. This one without saving it, it is a crime. Okay, I won't. I, let me let me just save it now. Let me just save it now, real quick. Love you. All right. Okay, so we need some bass. So let's go ahead and scroll back up, um, and let's find. Ooh, quiet bison. That's a good one. Um, let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody though. Um, okay, uh, Skate Alex, Ford Set, Parallel, okay, Ford Set, I feel like those would be some good sounds for this track. Paralleled, um, oh wait, are we requesting two sounds here? I don't think, uh, Parallel Jalibi, okay, Parallel, Parallel Jalibi, there we go. Okay, that's pretty, pretty sure that's a sample. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a fucking sample. So, in terms of how we can do that, um, oh, what is this? Tuning Grooveful, that's cool. Um, so we just get a sample of, I don't know, like a vocal or something? Sure. Uh, and then ARP. And then... Sound like that. I mean, it's, it is really going to depend on the sample, but that's all he's doing. He's finding a sample and just like looping that first like, tiny little bit there. Um, it might even be a sample of like an entire song. So it could be even that. That's good. I feel like we can get a better one. That's cool. I love that. That's a great sample. Thank you for that inspiration, Mr. Skate Alex. Okay, let's do it again. Different note here. 
Fuck. Yes. Okay, cool. And let's not do the key tracking on the filter. That's bad. sick. <laughs> That's fun. Guys, you are very helpful in inspiring me to make some, some fun beats, so I appreciate that. Um, all right, so, um, yeah, nice little Duskus type groove, you feel me? You, fuck, you guys fuck with Duskus? He's pretty sick. All right, um, uh, Red Baron, let's, we got you. Let's see, we got three minutes. Intro plucks to Duckworth, I'm dead. Uh, Duckworth, I'm dead. Let's do it. Duskus, my fucking man. Um, yeah, what um, the heck is going on here? The status quo, I'm dead. Nigga, I'm dead. Yeah. Alone, but I never am alone. Run with the bulls, my deep when I'm wrong. I keep a cool head like a breeze on a stone. If you hit me with the beef, I will flip like a phone. So keep the bullshit, let me fuck. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, And then you've it's got that sort of midnight kind of stereo. Yeah. I like that. It's kind of getting there. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, uh, thank you guys. Thank you. This was a fun stream. I, I think this combo of combining, recreating the sounds with your requests and me making a beat that I actually like, <laughs> that is, a, I find, a happy medium. So I think this is a good format in the future. Um, so appreciate you guys donating, sticking around, hanging. Um, it's always a pleasure. Uh, listen, I put out a video last week. I put out a video with me and Scro. It's called uh, How to Make Hyper Glitch Emo Metal House. I, at least I used to call that uh, at that. Now Hi. it's just called Blending Together Every Genre with Scro. So yeah, check that out. It's a pretty cool video. Would love to uh, see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we also have put out a new song last week called I Lay Here. It's pretty cool. I don't know, just saying. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. See you guys next week. Peace.